back to artists on artists on artists on artists. It's food time at the baseball game. That's right. We're talking to hot dog callers and food vendors. Hot dog callers are the backbone of the theater artists that make up the food vendors of America's pastime. No entertainment of a baseball game or sports game in general would be complete without the raucous calling of a hot dog caller, which, if you know the community, has lots of intricacies, details, and nuances. Take me out to the here we go, folks. Let's strap in, get ready for the game, and take out our wallets to order a dog. Well... So good to have everybody in a wow, room. Wow, You're passing wow, mustard. Wow. Can I get the mustard? What a room of legends. Yeah, here's the mustard. Yeah, you, you know, I never get to buy a hot dog from you guys because I'm always the one selling the hot dogs. Yeah, that, well, that's crazy because I'm also always the one selling the hot dogs too, so I never get to buy a hot dog from you guys. Just one time I would like to... Uh, Just one time. One time I'd, I'd like to buy hot dogs from everybody. I'd yeah. love to buy a hot dog from one of my friends. I love the hot dogs. I, I love the hot dogs. I love selling the hot dogs, and I love being involved with the hot dogs with all my friends. Hello, everybody. How are we? <laughs> it's so good to see you guys. Right it's everybody. so good to see you guys. And I'm glad that Hollywood is finally respecting the art that is the hot dog caller. Because yeah. we've got our own industry all on our own. That feels very Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah, it's about time. Yeah. <laughs> hey, why don't we go ahead and Hey, put down those fisticuffs. You ain't yeah. We ain't we, we ain't trying to fight here, eh? It's about fight. time. Yeah. This ain't the loge deck. I'm not intruding on your space, okay? Uh, it's about time. Yeah. All right, so wait, maybe we should go around and introduce ourselves and also show everyone what our traditional call is. All right, uh, my name is Timmy Two Time. Uh, I am a hot dog caller for the New York Yankees. Uh, here's my call. Hot dog, bep, bep, bep. hot dog, hot dog, woo, woo, hot dog, hot dog, hot fire, woo, hot dog. One of the greats. <laughs> Thank you. I mix it up. I mix it up. I have a blast doing it. What about you guys, huh? Hey, guys. I'm Kershaw Ketchup, named after Kershaw. Are you named after what? Clayton Kershaw. Kershaw? Yeah, Kershaw on the team right Would now. Would you grow up together? <laughs> no, no. I, I'm younger. I'm 12. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> grew up in Los Angeles. I love the Dodgers. Uh, uh, and here's my call. Hey, get your hot dogs. I'm a kid. Get your hot dogs. I'm a kid. Get your hot dogs. I'm a kid. That must really work for sales. Saying I'm a kid after, that's a signature move right there. That's a kid I want to buy. So young, so talented. So young. Thanks, guys. Well, I'm Patty Beef, and uh, I am the first female hot dog caller for the Chicago Cubs. Wow. And there's my call. Hot dogs! Get ya! Hot dogs! I love it. It sounds like a ghost dying. <laughs> and I, I hate that this is a podcast because it's really a visual call. <laughs> it's I really wish you guys could see. How it's a visual think? call. It, it because both... what I do that a lot of people aren't doing, a lot of people think hot dog and they think wide mouth. Well, I'm the only one brave enough to go long mouth. Yeah. It, and it's, hot dogs! It visually Get and... Auditorily, God. both visually and auditorially, <laughs> sounds like a ghost is dying. The moment a ghost's soul is released yeah. finally from this earth and it moves on to another plane. It's, it's sort of an agony call. It's a release <laughs> yes. of the agony and the torment that is. And Jeez. in that release, Chicago there's also. Cubs. <laughs> In the release, there's also a little more agony. It's, it's the yeah. agony that it's over. It's like a death nail. Like it's like <laughs> yeah. a little thing like the, before the person leaves into the world. Yeah. It's like a death nail. And, oh, I, and I love that your mouth is square. Yeah. Hot dog! <laughs> That's how I know that I'm going to sell a hot dog that day, is when the corners of my mouth make 90 degree angles. <laughs> I'm, I'm Patty Beef. All right. Yeah, and of course, the legend themselves. Uh, Here we go. Yeah. 
Tiger. My name is Derek Heliotrope. It's so great to see you. Derek Heliotrope. Derek Heliotrope. Derek of course. Heliotrope. Heliotrope. It was a stage name. That's not my real name. What's your real name? My real name is Hergie Badergi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you changed Hergie Badergi. <laughs> yes, it, was a, it was a good name, and then the Swedish chef came along, and he made it sound like my name was a joke. The Muppets kind of ruined So you went it. with Derek Heliotrope. I went to Derek Heliotrope because I grew up there. Uh, on the street. In Heliotrope? I grew up on Heliotrope <laughs> Avenue in Los Angeles, but I moved to Denver for a job opportunity. Heliotrope and what? Santa Monica? <laughs> Heliotrope and Melrose, believe it or not. Wait, wait. Near the Yard Theater. <laughs> Absolutely. Wait, you got to do your call before your backstory. Okay. The call's more important. So this is my call. I do it in Denver, Colorado for the Colorado Rockies. This is my call. Help! Help, please! Somebody! Somebody help me! It's by a hot dog. <laughs> help! Fire! Help! Help me make my money for a killing a hot dog. And this is why you're alleged, because there was a Supreme Court case against you to see if this was actually illegal. It's a free speech thing. <laughs> Can you yell free. fire in a movie theater? <laughs> Some Can you yell no. fire to sell a hot dog? I think that. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's for capitalism, it's they, a free speech th- thing. That's the how they ruled. Republicans came down. Hard on this, they said you can do it if it's to sell something. I think Ira Glass. I know I'm 12, but I think Ira Glass did a whole. Uh, this is America, uh, American Life. Yes, he painted me as the bad guy, but it's not right. Like I'm just doing what I want to do. And like, you inspired so many copycats. Uh, All I, I say, see people running around Wrigley Field shouting, "Ow, oh, my leg! Give me a hot dog! Give me, let me buy you a hot dog!" And their heart isn't in it. No, yeah. it's not right. It They're right. a little confused, though, because they both want a hot dog and to sell a hot dog. They just don't have right. it right. They don't, they don't know everything they want. right. It's spreading, too, onto the street. The people that sell hot dogs on the street on the little grills outside of the the baseball stadium, they're doing it too. They're throwing themselves in the street, being like, I've been hit, I've been hit by poverty unless you buy this hot dog. I see that all the time. I gotta tell ya, Derek, you're the one that made me decide that I wanted to say I'm a kid in my call. You're joking my butt, that's I'm crazy. I'm not joking your butt, Derek. That's really you and I inspired you to do that? Yeah, Derek. Cause before I just used to sell hot dogs with a big trench coat on. Oh you <laughs> now I gotta ask, do you how do you balance your school hot dog calling life by style balance? Yeah. So I go to school and I sell hot dogs in the night games. Okay, that seems like an easy oh, balance, very actually. Very simple. <laughs> very manageable. <laughs> you know, that makes sense. Makes me more in favor of kids working. Yeah, yeah. it's about time we got those kids back into work, you yeah. know? You know, I, I realized recently I saw on uh, the Temple University syllabus that they, oh, so hold on a minute, oh, somebody texted me they want to buy a hot dog. You, what was you that? You moved digital. I moved digital. I seen it. They sent me money on Venmo, and then they sent them a picture of a hot dog. And, and do the do the what 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 stadium do you play at? Do you uh, call the, the, that the again? Couple of the Colorado Rockies. The Colorado Rockies. Do the Rockies know that you're selling these hot dogs on your phone, or are, are you sort of buying them out and? and well, this is them? another reason why you're a legend because you had another Supreme Court dealing with the mm-hmm. idea of an, of an NFT hot dog, <laughs> and you if it was right. allowed. <laughs> Lives me. They really, they really so went with you. Really, you are selling really the do. first digital hot dog. Yes. <laughs> but this is, we don't have to talk about Where this. people own the idea Wait, of a hot dog. Dude, I gotta hear your digital hot dog call <laughs> because it's been blowing up on TikTok. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Click here for free Ray Bans. Just kidding. Eat your hot dog. <laughs> you know what's so wild about that is nobody wants Ray Bans anymore. I also have another one. I'm a sexy woman with a new webcam, and my boyfriend is out of town. I'm going to do something naughty if you want to buy a hot dog. That one is so smart. Why I order? Hey, stop. Put your 50 cups down. Put your 50 cups up. Because you're going after. 
the horny guys and gals who exactly. might want a hot dog. Well, that's this. what they found out. Researchers showed, and this is really interesting for our field, there is such a close connection to horniness and wanting a hot dog. <laughs> Sometimes you don't know if you're horny or if you're hungry. These ads solve the problem. Did you guys read that paper that was in Scientific American about this exact thing? The scientists wrote for like three pages saying, I didn't know if we really needed to even do this study. It feels pretty obvious. Hot dog to horny is pretty one-to-one. But then we did it, and it makes sense. That's I remember it, that line. They said hot dog to horny is pretty one-to-one. <laughs> it was like, a crazy day for JSTOR. <laughs> but, then, but back to my question. Back to, back to my question for Kershaw. I had the question for you. Yeah. Temple University has now announced they're turning hot dog guy into a major. What? A college major. Would you go to college yeah. for this? For, do you think people should have to go to yeah. college to learn how to do this? Yeah. Are you going to do it? Are well, you going to go to college for it? I guess maybe yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, this is interesting. It, it goes. Yeah, Kershaw. You think you maybe Maybe could? yeah. Really? I don't know. Maybe yeah. I just want to. I don't know. I don't know. I never want to do anything that gets me far away from the field. I love do- baseball. <laughs> I dodge ball. <laughs> you love dodgeball, dude? No, I love baseball so much. I never want to do anything that gets me away from the field for too long. Do you want to play baseball at all? Or do you just want to call for I a just want to be near the baseball. Mm. I love Kershaw. I love my boys. I love the Dodgers so much. I never want to leave them. To Who's the your po- favorite Dodger? Kershaw. Besides Kershaw. None of them else. Kershaw's my number he one. He doesn't have to have one. He doesn't have to have <laughs> one that isn't just Kershaw. Well, this is Kershaw's actually crazy. a very Thank valid you, option and a very you, solid Pei. pick Thank for you, favorite Pei. Dodger. Thank you. My second favorite is uh, probably a uh, 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 Lightning McQueen, but he's not a Dodger. No, he's, he's a, a car. car. <laughs> 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 well, this is interesting that... Uh, Temple University is for having this major because it's going to finally bring up the debate. What are we going to do about all these hot dog classes? Yeah. You know, people you have, it's like, where did you study to do hot dog classes? I we talk about this and I'm so happy we're talking and about it. And is a degree in hot dog calling and, and food vending calling worth it? You know, that's going to be a $50,000 degree. Do you really need that? Or are these classes enough? Are these classes scams? Are they pyramid schemes? They're kind of gurus, you I know? don't know. I don't know if you need to go to college for it. But I yeah. definitely, you know, I came up through Second City Dogs. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, wow. And Who I were was- your teachers? There. <laughs> My teachers were uh, Johnny Hot Dog. Jim three times. Jim three times is my icon. He's so good at timing. It's crazy. Gummy buns. You got you got pickle relish. You've got you got sour as hell. You've got loge deck four times. <laughs> He's too complicated to understand. You know, and they all teach a very different style of calling. Yeah. It's almost like a religion. They do. So and, you're, uh, my, you're more like uh, Second City improv hot Chicago dog. Style. Chicago yeah, style. Chicago style hot dog calling. Yeah, yeah, Chicago yeah. style hot dog calling. Chicago style hot dog calling teaches you to go from the throat out. It's not yeah. like these L.A. Well, hot dog Well, don't bash callers. it. Don't. I actually come from Mayosner. I am a big Mayo. Mayosner. <laughs> oh, the, the school. The school. The, school. De- the hot dog calling school. Yeah. People say it's a little guru-y, but I love the inside-out approach, you know? Well, I heard Mayosner <laughs> learned it from Bunislavsky. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. So I it's really Well then there was the spin off. Of course you could always study at Stella Dogler. <laughs> well, don't but get I me. find the approach pretentious. It's Continue. very different. I mean Stella Dogler and Mayosner are very different, both from Bonislavsky <laughs> originally, but they've taken it in different ways. You know? I love Uda Hagen. <laughs> Uda Hagen. <laughs> yeah. Uda Hagen. I know I'm only twelve, but I love reading Uda Hagen. Awesome. Yeah, so mine is more of an inside out. You want to feel the pain and you want to you want to really like my idea is your repetition. Repetition is key and also connection with who you're trying to sell. A lot of people yeah. will go to a store, uh, go to a ball game and just yell to the crowd. But you got to grab the crowd. Who are those individuals in there? You got to connect with them with their problems, with their things, and the hot dog is the answer, you know? That yeah. is my approach yeah. and I love it. You know, people say it's a little guru-y. You know, Mayo's no went off the rails, and all the teachers, Mayo's no, of course, is retired. 
Uh, we've got some gurus now yeah, in the place of him yeah. that have kind of taken over. But, you know, I he's mean, good. I were so good at teaching repetition, which I think is so important for uh, selling hot dogs. You have to say the same thing over and over. Yeah. But it has to be meaningful. It has yeah. to be very and it to, I think part of the great art of the hot dog call is making hot dogs sound new every time mm-hmm. you right, say it. Right, that's yeah. hard. And every time interesting you say it, and it's delicious. Like it's like you're discovering. It's like every time you say hot dog, you're discovering that you have a hot dog this in is, your hand and simultaneously you want to sell it. This right, is such a right. Chicago style. This is such a Chicago yeah. style hey, discovery. Sue me. I'm Chicago style. <laughs> <laughs> and when Sue me comes in, that's me. I've been sued. Sued by the government. <laughs> Many times for my manipulative ways. I actually, I didn't come from any classical training. I, wow. came, I work for the offices of Frank Azar. He's a, 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 a he's a, he's a, a personal injury lawyer, <laughs> and he's really big in Los Angeles. And and I learned a lot of what I do from how they advertise personal injury law. Mm. So that's kind of where I come <laughs> did from. Did they did they put you in the ads ever? No, but I had to do a scrub supervisor for the ads. <laughs> what so was I, that like? It was so hard. <laughs> <laughs> These lawyers, when they get on camera, they love to go off script. Mm-hmm. They just love to They love to try new things. When you put a personal injury lawyer in front of a camera, it's literally like putting a, 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 a flipper in front of a shark. It's so exciting for them. <laughs> <laughs> it's just really exciting for them. So, Kersha, I know you're young and new to the game. It's wonderful, yeah. but you are truly, I mean, you're basically like the uh, 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 child actor in, in terms of hot dogs. I mean, you are you are kismet. The, the way that you deliver it, and I'm just wondering, did you have training? Did you learn yeah. it yourself? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, well, I got into it in a weird way. My father's a streaker. <laughs> My no, father's your father wow. gets so you, naked and runs around. Yeah, so you were in the industry kind of already. Yeah, you were raised bit. in it. So my, my father goes to Dodger games all the time. And my father runs and gets naked. And it's really, really hard. Because I hate seeing my dad get arrested time and time again. And when he gets arrested, you you did you stay at the games? And I get and I stay there. Yeah. And some nights I sleep there. And that's why the play is a family to me. Mm. And that's why the stadium sometimes is a home to me. Yeah, that makes sense. And sometimes when I see my father run and take off his pants, I don't want him to go. And one day I was so tired and so exhausted and I saw my dad take off his shoes and I knew what it meant. I knew it meant I couldn't go home that night because he was going to go. And I knew that meant another sleepless night I was going to stay inside Dodger Stadium. So he starts going. He starts taking off his clothes. And then I go, Dad, no. And he starts going and he starts running miles per hour on the stadium miles, miles per, per hour, hour. <laughs> and he's naked he's naked and then i start running after him and i didn't know that i have the gift of speed and i'm running after my father but i'm fully closed all of a sudden i am not on the field but now i'm in the stands i accidentally pat i accidentally hit a hot dog man i go through I, he his hot dog. We'll talk about the the uh, what do you call it the uh, the, equipment. the equipment. We'll talk equipment. about the equipment. He falls. I accidentally fall through his harness. It goes on my neck, and suddenly I'm going up these stairs holding the harness, and I'm running up the stairs so fast holding this harness so fast, and the hot dog scout saw me. Uh, and I'm the going hot up dog the stairs scouts, yeah. so fast. Fast, and I'm holding all this hot dog equipment so fast. And they scouted me and they said, you kid can run with equipment so fast. You should sell hot dogs and you could sell sodas so they can put on uh, about 25 pounds of equipment on my back. See, no, I, I, this is what I'm going to say. I think you've got this raw talent. I think you've got a lot of Did pain. Did you follow that story? I absolutely <laughs> followed it. it. It made sense to me, you know. But I the did, thing yeah. is, I would I watch out, there. though, because... They're gonna take advantage of your pain, your natural talent, and and you gotta deal with that trauma before you go before you get older, okay? You because be you could go down the wrong hot dog path. Because you once can. you start, yeah, yeah. Once you, if you, if you, if you don't deal with these issues early on, it can they it only can get really worse. Screw you up. <laughs> yes. So I want to know, do you have an agent looking out for you? No, I don't. I am un, I am unrepresented in the hot dog. We community. gotta get you an agent. We gotta, we gotta get, get you, get you an 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 We need to get you an agent. One thing. My uh, tip is uncuffed. Okay. <laughs>
Unwrap. Well, I'm at W Meet E. If you want, you, I can set you up with a general. I think they would love. I can also you set you a general with my people. C A A Hot Dog. <laughs> <laughs> They're I'm great a- guys. <laughs> They're really good guys. And, and I'm, at, uh, I'm at UTA. I thought so. <laughs> but one piece of advice I want to give you because I think it's really important. Oh, the, the accent's back. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's great. It comes in and out. It's, uh, it's important to me. It's a, it's a phrase a little bit that we all have um, uh, here. Uh, as hot dog people, we say you can always add more ketchup. But you can't take the ketchup off. Mm. So be careful with your tendencies, your yeah. habits, all that stuff. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's so Because I tell you, Dodger Stadium's full of father figures. You so throw a many piece father of trash figures. and it lands on a father figure. Oh, my God. In always. Dodger's, th- that and is the stadium. It's a issues. stat. It's the stadium with the most father figures I'll tell you, as <laughs> per capita, in all of America. Per capita. As, per capita, as, as the most father daddy figures. issues, it's so hard to leave that place because it's got so many father and figures. And both real and imagined. You know, they've got the big diamonds with the retired jerseys on them. And you've got all the dads, of course, taking their yeah. kids out to the ball mm. game. But that means the numbers are up for you. I mean, dads love the hot dogs. And, and it's really no, important. It's really my greatest strengths and my greatest weaknesses. And mm. I run so fast because I'm always chasing my daddy. Well, I want to hear some situations, you know, I want to throw some situations your way and you guys can tell me, uh, you know, what you would do in yeah. this situation. The approach, because yeah. How do you sell in every single position? So we can all throw out situations as well, but the first situation I want to throw out is um, you're only selling a vegetarian dog. Oh, You've tough. been given your lot and you can only sell a dog that is meatless. What would you do? Wow, wow. That's tough. Maybe you'd have luck with that over at Dodger Stadium in Hollywood. Oh, yeah. But you can't do that Chicago style. No way. (laughs) That's not going to happen there. Yankees is tough. It's tough at Yankee Stadium, too. What I would do is I'd go like this. Hey, veggie hot dog. Veggie hot dog. Oh, the hard G is smart. The hard G is smart. So what I'll tell you is the G... Is it's the hard G and the V begins to sound like an F a little bit. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. 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 That's the oh, worst no. thing a hot dog caller could do. <laughs> I would not call, I would not call a, a, a vegetarian hot dog that. I think that's offensive. <laughs> Say it one time for me so I can hear it. Veggie hot dog. Yeah, I hear it. 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 <laughs> now I hear it. I wasn't hearing it before, and now I do. So I would never up. do that. Why I yawn? <laughs> <laughs> Bull, put down your I fist, put kids. Down your fist put down your fist, kids. It was an accident. Why it was an yawn. accident. I would never. I'm an ally. <laughs> a vocabulary of someone from the 30s and a tolerance of someone who was born in 2011. <laughs> and also raised in Los Angeles. <laughs> oh, yeah, then you're, she's industry. Well, what am I supposed to do? Go feed it to the goats? A veggie hot dog? No. The thing is, I'm only working with the best hot dogs there are in New York hot dog, and I'm not going to settle for you less. So if you're going to bring a veggie hot dog around, you better be the best veggie hot dog in the world. And okay. if I can try it, if I can taste it, then I can sell it. If it's a good veggie hot dog... Then I know how to sell it. And you know how it is? Veggie hot dog, dog. Veggie hot dog. It's good. Not lying. Oh, I like that you <laughs> add the not <laughs> lying. It's important for people to know that that's really nice. That's, that's Mayosner right there. That's you got to be honest with yourself. That's now, my Mayosner. training, Chicago-style training, will tell you that if you add the phrase Chicago style to anything at the end, people assume it has meat in it. <laughs> so if you say veggie hot dog, Chicago style, Smart. get your veggie hot dog, Chicago style. Again, the ghost in agony. <laughs> it's really a visual call. <laughs> that people, they assume, well, okay, there must be vegetables, but also beef, and I'll eat it, and then they won't get angry until they've already given you the money. But... You know who will buy a veggie hot dog is girls. <laughs> so that's a tip that you could work with. I, my question <laughs> for you, let's talk a little bit more about the sexism in your industry. Like, what have you faced? Yeah, Tell us you must have. It's been an uphill climb for you. I mean, I loved your memoir. I thought it was a beautiful really read. It I know it's beautiful. such a good memoir. I hate that they treat you unfairly. Why are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, put the fist. <laughs> you can't punch her. No, you can't no, punch her. Don't punch, punch her. anybody around her that's going to give her violence or unfairness. <laughs> <laughs> don't punch at the. Don't. You You, you got to save your Neither fisticuffs. One. Build within your community. Change yes. attitudes on a local level. <laughs> yes. 
I have experienced a lot of sexism in the hot dog calling industry, and uh, my memoir, Call in All Hot Dogs, parentheses, <laughs> girlies, <laughs> is on sale at uh, on Amazon, and you can buy it. I saw it's it in a uh, Hot Club. Topic, too. It was a great book in Hot Topic. Yeah, people think it's yeah, kind of a Urban joke Outfit book at too. times, Urban Outfitters. <laughs> you can, and it. you can buy it as a joke, also. <laughs> oh, don't you dare. Why? <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. I have a sense of humor. As a girl hot dog caller, you gotta have a, a will of steel to get past these <laughs> Boys. A lot of times the problem I was facing early on in my career is that I was trying to hit a male hot dog call frequency, but the men couldn't pick it up. So that's why I had to find my own voice, which is, of course, ghost in agony. That they can pick up. <laughs> it changed the game. It completely changed the approach. I mean, we've seen – you are an icon, a legend. I mean, when you started calling like a ghost in agony, the whole business model changed. Because I, yeah, rather yeah. than calling for retention, you were claiming it, and people yeah. were looking your way to see it, what the heck is this. I was leaning in. <laughs> yeah, you were. And then that, I was really worried, to be honest with you. I I was caught up with everyone else saying, this is a flash in the pan. This is going to go away. And mm. it actually became a trend that stuck around and actually changed the way we all act. So mm -hmm. thank yeah, you. And, and it's and crazy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did that. No, and I and I thank you for your honesty. And I, I don't fault any male hot dog callers for their prejudices because I think part of the hot dog is the purity of the dog, right? Yeah. It's about yeah. the dog. And so if you're thinking about these other stuff, these political issues, these gender issues, it can get tough because the dog is what's important. And exactly. that's what ultimately unites us. And I am yeah. running for mayor. Uh, mayor what? hot dog. Oh. <laughs> mayor hot dog. Mayor have a hot dog, please. <laughs> That's why I love I'm you. I'm not running for mayor. I just wanted to say that. I will say, I, I the part in your memoir that shook me to the core was when the other hot dog vendors would think that you were selling cotton candy, and they would put cotton candy in your in your tech in your in your equipment in, in just the worst way. And a lot of female hot dog vendors deal with that. Wow, they get cotton candied. They it's, think, oh, they get they cotton just, candied. In Denver, there's a big thing that we like to do. If something is wrong, where if you're treated, uh, other people a certain way, you're acting prejudiced, they make you walk a mile in, in their bucket. Like So so if someone is being too much of a hot shot with hot dogs, oh, you're selling lemon chills now for, oh, for, for the rest tough. of the season. And so you really get to Especially see in Colorado midwinter. <laughs> no one wants, and we stay open. The, the Rockies, they love to, they just love the game. And so they'll play, they'll, they'll do the open call for opponents, and they'll just open it up, and people will come over in the winter, and they'll play against the real team. It's mm. wild that any ordinary bozo from Denver can walk on yeah. in. And, and play against the Rockies. And more and more people go to those games than the professional games because those games are fucked up. <laughs> like they're fucking crazy <laughs> oh, weird. Wow. So you have to go to them, honestly, but that's what we're selling. We're selling hot dogs, we're selling lemon chills, we're selling no, all sorts of No, it's offensive stuff. for them to ask you for cotton candy. Once someone came up to me and asked me, and asked me for, what's it called when someone sucks on one of those things? Oh, a pacifier. Someone asked me for a pacifier. Has Did they lose it? What happened? What no, was it was like an offensive thing. They said you're selling hot dogs, you're also selling pacifiers. Oh. oh, no. I hate that that happened to you. That's why you need to be protected in this yeah. industry. <laughs> you need to get you, some people on your team. swimming around. You need to get some people on your team, man. Do you know how many more games you have to do to become part of the union? <laughs> oh, I'm eligible. You are? Yeah. Why haven't you signed up, the dudes? Uh, yeah. The dudes the are crazy. The dogs. The dudes. The dogs. <laughs> the dogs. <laughs> the dogs. <laughs> it's a lot of money. I remember that for yeah. me. Now, can we talk about something that, you know, has been on my mind recently as, yeah. uh, as I grow old in this industry and see how much has changed, you know, I'm kind of an old geezer. I'm not, I'm a purist. I like a clean hot dog. What are your feelings on the glizzy? What are your feelings on the hot dog uh, bacon glizzy, a hot dog surrounded in bacon? You know, because this is a new trend. These young TikTok Gen Zers love the bacon wrapped hot dog, and it's just not for me. You know, I feel like it de destroys the art. It destroys the purity of a hot dog. I can't be like, bacon wrapped hot dog. It sounds like I'm at some sort of wedding. 
you know? Right. That does sound like you're at yeah, a wedding. Yeah, when you say that, I, when, you, when you say bacon ram hot dog, all I hear is here comes the bride. Yeah, absolutely. All I hear is da 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 And it frankly confuses my pea-sized brain. All I hear is the song Shout. <laughs> Which is a classic wedding song. Classic wedding. What are your favorite hot dog songs? <laughs> Let's oh. talk about it. Mine is um, mine is um, uh, uh, yeah, you really got me now. Got me so I don't know what I'm doing. What a great hot That's dog a, song. That to me is a hot dog <laughs> and just song. for you, how does that? How is that song a hot dog song? It, you can't put a word on. Yes. it's just a. Feeling, <laughs> but that song is hot dogs. No, no I totally my agree. My kindergarten teacher had a, has a hot dog playlist, and it's a playlist of songs that you can't figure out why, but it's a hot dog song. Yeah, my favorite hot dog song is "So You're on a Holiday." That's a hot dog song. <laughs> no Misery easy. Business by Paramore. That's yeah. a hot dog song. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, maybe in LA, that's a hot dog yeah. song. Not where I'm from, it's New York. Alicia Keys and Jay Z is my hot dog song. <laughs> <laughs> you Look, can't... people buy more hot dogs when a hot dog style song is playing. Absolutely. 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 Like now, uh, I want to talk about everybody's big break. Because mm. how did you finally oh. get noticed by the ball club that you currently work for? Yeah, I talked about when I got noticed by the scouts. Were you guys noticed by the scouts? Or I was audition? in the minor leagues for a long time. I mean, I was like uh, doing uh, funnel cakes and, and different things in, in AAA, AA baseball. What happened though? It was a big, big day for me. It kind of set me up. I mean, my record was good. I was, I was hot dogging four, four point four two. You know, four point four two zero. That's a uh, out of a hundred hot dogs. How many do you sell? And I'm selling. Uh, you know, out of a hundred people I asked, I'm selling forty two hot dogs. That ain't mm. bad. I mean, it's a, it's a hot dog average. So my hot dog batting That's average. A, anything, anything over three hundred is an incredible huge, batting average for hot dogs. Huge, 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 average. huge. And then it was one day where I hit a grand slam hot dog at a triple a game a grand slam hot dog is when you have four people that don't want to buy a hot dog and you manage to convince them to buy four hot and dogs in four different sections in four different in sections in four different sections or Insane. a mini slam a mini slam is when someone buys a hot dog bag of chips and a soda yeah if you can get the combo if you can get the combo they notice that they yeah. notice that for you they youngins in the that. field there's so many mini slams they they recognize that as a grand slam. Oh wow, they've they've counted it towards the grand slam yeah, count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's you probably fucking with the statistics, but these days. it's yeah. interesting how the game changes. It's absolutely the changed. Changed. The currency has changed. The times change. So yeah, I was on the San Diego Twisters AAA team, and then I jumped up, and now I'm in the New York Yankees. I'm proud to be a New York Yankee guy. Wow. Wow, so did the a Yankee scout you at an away game? or a... Yankee scouted me at an away game. Well, the Twists... Oh, wait, they wouldn't play in the same league, would they? No, no, no. What? They, no. They, just have, they were at the Anaheim Stadium, and a couple of the Yankees said, I've never been to San Diego. Why don't we go check it out? And so that's where I got seen. They're always looking for good callers, though. Mm. Uh, and, and that's when I was signed, too. You know, there's, it's all this litigation. It's it's both a combination of it's being litigation scouted. It's litigation. Yeah, it's yeah, both a combination of being that, scouted <laughs> and also you, having good reps that put you up. You know, so I had a, yeah. I was auditioning and auditioning and auditioning all over the place for new hot dog jobs. And yeah. finally, you hit a grand slam, you're in with the Yankees. That's yeah. great. You know, sometimes it's romantic like that. For me, it was a lot, uh, much more of like I was a hole to fill. Like I was working for Frank Azar in Los Angeles, like doing really good stuff for the commercials and stuff. And then they invited us because we would get a box there because we were the official um, uh, lawyers of the Dodgers, and we were there. Wow, Frank Azar, the <laughs> accidental. He can afford that. <laughs> He's official the lawyer, the sponsor. The injury. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we did it, and it was awesome. And, and and we were there in the field. We were in the box, and 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 somebody sold a hot dog. Uh, it was crazy. I don't know. You might know this guy, but um, um Sid Wallet. Do you know Sid Wallet? He's he might still work there. I don't know. This was in Dodger Stadium. In what department? He was selling hot dogs. Oh, is he, uh, oh, does he give me big hugs? I wouldn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> but what I would say is he has, he has bigger eyes than he does muscles. So what happened was we were in the box. He was selling on a lower section. Oh, and yeah, somebody, on lower C. Yeah, and he, somebody on upper C tried to buy a hot dog from him. They threw coins down. He said, oh, here you go. I'll throw the hot dog up. And he started throwing the hot dog. It got stuck in the box. Yeah. It got stuck in where we were. I caught it, and I said, oh, this was not going to go that far. 
And then the person on the top was like, I don't even want it anymore. I don't like the <laughs> at all. And I was like, no, you have to buy it. You have to. You have to. And then I actually convinced him to continue to buy it. Oh, so, yeah. Wow. Sid Wallet. Sid Wallet take, took me to Halloween parties this year. Okay. Watch out for him. <laughs> I wouldn't. Oh I, God, I, I, we got to get you some representation. Get you <laughs> who, did, who, did, who did he dress up as? One of the characters for the White Lotus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that. it's a little adult yeah, it's show. A little tough. It's That's a, a little, little which, tough. Character? which character? Also hard to recognize. <laughs> <laughs> Very naturalistic costuming, unless it's Portia. Unless it's Portia. Was he Portia? We did a joint character. Who are you? You did joint? You didn't do couples? <laughs> <laughs> you played two halves of Jennifer <laughs> Coolidge? <laughs> yes, it's exactly what we did. I'd stay. That's very funny. A very yeah, funny that's costume. That's very funny. But I'd still stay away from him. Yeah, that's right. an amazing, remarkable story. You it kind did. of got discovered. Yeah, so I said, well, I really don't want to do this. I have this other job. And then Frank Arzell said, listen, we're actually going to let you go. We don't really need script supervisors for this. This was a goodbye <laughs> gift. Like, this game was a goodbye gift. And I said, wow, that's crazy. So then we started talking. And, and they didn't have a spot for me in uh, Los Angeles. But they looked around. And they said, we could use you. And... And we could, you know, let's fly you out to Denver. So I got a signing bonus, and and they flew me out to Denver. <laughs> That's what. How big wow. was your? How, what was your signing bonus? My signing bonus was um all of the relish I could eat. <laughs> <laughs> The ranch? That's right. Relish. That's a good topic yeah. for it to be. Yeah. The ranch? No. I mean, I, I wasn't in the union it's yet. It's a different department. I would have negotiated if I knew I could get ranch. I would have negotiated. <laughs> that is so And yeah, they fun. don't tell you that. They gave me ketchup. I didn't know any better. I ate it all up. Always ask for ranch. In, in, my, in my negotiating? When you negotiate. Put it in your rider. It's how you, you know they're the serious. Ranch <laughs> yeah. For yourself. Ms. Beef, what about you? Well, you know, I had kind of a bit of a rough ride in the beginning. I was, like you, auditioning everywhere. I went to the Reds. I went to the White Sox. I went to uh, 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 the, um, the well, back then they called it the Indians. Now they call it something else. Um, God, I don't remember what they're, what they're called now. Uh, I went to, um, uh, I went up to the Mets. I went, uh, I went down to the, uh, the Tampa Bay Rays. And that's when I really, um, I was not in a good place. What was the size? What were the copy like for these auditions for you? Well, the copy was <laughs> hot dog, get your hot dogs now. Wow. Back then it wasn't here. That's a trap, they Waya Yorda. I wonder if they did that to you because you're a woman, Waya Yorda. Yeah, and, they, and you know what? And they maybe did. And part of that was I could tell I was being treated differently. Yeah. And at the same time, I was abusing hot dogs. You never want to drink your own supply. That's but true. I was addicted you know, to she hot dogs. Eat. And so I felt permanently crazy because I was I was eating so many nitrates from the beef mm. that I was going a little <laughs> insane. And so when I auditioned for the Tampa Bay Rays and I said, hot dogs, get your hot dogs now. That's how I was calling it back then. Hot dogs, get your hot dogs now. And I could tell they were laughing at me. Wow. I could tell they were laughing. Wow. And I went off the handle. I started tossing packets at these guys like there was no tomorrow. I called them every name in the book. I was so pissed off. And so I walked away. I walked away for I... a while. And then I thought, you know what? I just, I just got to get my emotions out. So I went to my niece's softball game. And I started selling hot dogs to the parents. <laughs> And who do you know was Shut sitting up. in the stands? Shut up. John Wrigley of Wrigley Field. Wow. The Chicago Cubbies. Wow. And John he hired Wrigley. me on the spot. That's crazy and amazing. I love to hear that. You walked away. That's the strongest thing you could do. I tell my dad that all the time when he takes off his clothes. I say, you can walk away. You could walk away. I know Sometimes this you is love a, it so much that you gotta yeah. walk away. It's a devastating, devastating story, but you're also kind of a nepo baby. I mean, you were born in the nepo hot dog baby. You were born in the stadium, and kind of raised in it. It's, it's a, it's a rags to riches kind of beautiful I story. I think that's a little know? unfair. I think that's a little unfair for you to say. All right, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I just think I, it's been really hard for me. People, people hated me at a Dodger Stadium for a while. I was here with that guy. And I and I re and I reclaimed my name and I reclaimed who I was using my 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 strength. 
This is exactly what they said about Maud Apatow. I'm just going to say that. That's exactly what they <laughs> but said. But she's going to prove Maud has a raw talent, and she's going to prove everybody wrong. <laughs> and so am I. Can I ask everybody a question? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Gino. What do you guys eat for dinner? Oh, mm. peanuts probably mostly. Yeah, mostly peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys eat when you're not working? Mm. Oh. Should we peanuts say Peanuts mostly, I <laughs> yeah. think. I mostly think peanuts. Peanuts. Shelled peanuts, of course. <laughs> peanuts? Have you guys realized? Cracker Jacks. You sometimes can... on a special day for so, dessert. Cracker Jacks. Sometimes I put peanuts on a bun. You are, that's, <laughs> I was going to say, you could if you put peanuts on a bun and you push them down, you can make butter out of peanuts. Wow, really? Have yeah. you heard of peanut butter? I made it. No, at the store. <laughs> no? Yes, at the store. Go to the store, buy some peanut butter, it'll blow your mind. That sounds so much easier than what I do. <laughs> Should we do a, fu a fun little thing to close out? Yeah, let's do oh, it. What's your fun ahead. little thing to close out? What if you did a call, a wild call, a call a call that you would do only in your dreams? A call that shows the soul? <gasps> a, call a, call, that... a legendary call that shows the soul? The oh. call in our heart that we've been afraid to call <laughs> because of ridicule and because of what the industry wants from us? Everyone yeah. has a secret call. We <laughs> all know no, that. No, you're too young to know about the secret calls. It's a very it, well, The thing is, well, once I you join the union, it. you also join the pact. It. I heard yes. about it. You join I the heard... union, you join the pact. You have to sell your soul to hot dog. Sid yes. Wallet told me about it midnight Halloween party. Party, about the soul, the, the wow. call of the soul. You shouldn't be out and leave with him on Halloween. <laughs> he, he told you about the free mayo since? This year we're going to go as both as both prostitutes from White Lotus season two. Yeah, you should He's stop, obsessed with this stop show. hanging out with this guy. It's going to be a much, much, much delayed costume. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why don't we all do a call of the soul? Well, this is the call I've always wanted to do. If we lived in a matriarchy... This is how I go for hot dogs. Hot dogs? Oh my god. <laughs> Get your hot dogs here. Hot dogs? <laughs> Get your hot dogs here and now. <laughs> Come on, ladies. Get your hot dogs. Get your little hot dogs now. I honestly did not know you had that in you. Why are you on? That was a big oh secret. My God. And that's not how I do things because <laughs> and nobody's ready for it. My Why face is you? as red I'm as a baboon's I am asshole. blushing. There's I a hot dog blushing. down here that I, I'm, I, I'm not holding any hot dogs. Uh, I feel uh, like I have a hot dog. No, no, you're a kid. You're a kid. You're a kid. <laughs> Whoops. No more I want to know what's hidden in your hearts. <laughs> it's not weird for kids to have. What's your call of the soul? <laughs> My hot dog call of the soul is um, <laughs> very guarded and something Mayo's no kind of beat out of me, you know. <laughs> May uh, uh, there was a call I was doing right at the beginning, and he didn't like it a lot. So uh, maybe that's what it would be, you know. Maybe maybe it'd be a little bit more like this. Hot dog, huh? <laughs> like it's a question. You want a hot dog, huh? Well, why don't you come get a hot dog, huh? <laughs> hot dog, huh? <laughs> get your hot dog. <laughs> get your hot dog. Here. Thank you. Whoa. But now that's the difference between theatrical and film. <laughs> <laughs> so that one gave me a boner too. <laughs> <laughs> Which is completely normal. Okay, it's okay, fine. It's normal. <laughs> okay, okay. Can't you're start, twelve. Can't you're not start. that young. You're twelve. Truly. All right, I'm gonna try it now. Okay. This is crazy. Crazy that you already have a secret hot dog call. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It's just. I heard it's just hey. a secret deep down. That's all. Speak from the soul of your buns. Okay. <laughs> Get your hot dogs here! Daddy! 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 Get your hot dogs! Maybe keep that one to yourself, actually. Okay. That was kind of sad. Yeah, it was it's a, a good first one. Though. It it's gave me a bonus good. still. It's about you're still finding <laughs> yeah. your voice. Yeah. You're still finding your voice, and you're still finding your bonus. I'm really glad it let all three of you down. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you have more potential than anyone I've ever you're seen. You're literally a gift, kid. You're all we old. have to do is find you an agent. Yes, and then this is mine. It's very simple. You know, for me, I have always just wanted to be able to 
do away with the tricks and just to <laughs> sell something to somebody who wants it, not manipulate, not not surprise <laughs> someone into what they have. So this is what I would do. Hot dog. Hot dog. Oh, yeah. Do you want one? Do you want a hot dog? Oh, no. <laughs> Don't leave me behind. Don't let my memory turn to dust. Let me be here with you one more time. <laughs> Take this little hot dog and bring it to your heart. <laughs> That was both wow. sexy and confusing. <laughs> Crazy. I'm feeling everything. Confused, disturbed, touched. <laughs> oh, my God. Touched in a wonderful way and an awful and a way. way. <laughs> oh, no. Ow. Ow. Why I order? I didn't get a bona. I got the opposite of a bona. Oh, no. An appendectomy. <laughs> <laughs> Owie. Owie. Hey. Out to, to the, the ball game. game. Take we me out to the game. Buy me some peanuts and crack it back. I don't care if I ever get back to it. Root, root for the hot dog. It's like a dog is sticking inside of me. Four, it's one, two, three strikes. You're out. You're the old hot dog. I love my bone up. This has been Artist on Artist on Artist on Artist answering the question, now that's why they call it show business. Good night. Artist on Artist on Artist on Artist is an improvised Hollywood Roundtable podcast created and performed and produced by Kylie Brakeman, Jeremy Colhane, Angela Giratana, and Patrick McDonald. Music is by Gabriel Ponton. The opinions expressed on this podcast do not reflect the opinions of anyone who works on it, not even the performers, because this is an improvised podcast and we're stupid. Full video versions of AO, 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 A are available on YouTube, so please like and subscribe and leave us a five-star review wherever you get your podcasts. Good night, Hollywood.